a large landmass, the domination of a single religion and yet a pluralistic secular outlook. These aren't just the attributes for India, they also are the attributes for our Southeast Asian neighbour, that is Indonesia. Responding to a growing wave of Islamization, a clamour for the imposition of Sharia, banning practices like drinking and homosexuality, the Indonesian parliament earlier this week on the 24th of October did something extremely remarkable. The parliament of the most popular Muslim nation on earth gave the government the right to ban any mass organization that threatens the country's secular character. In fact, the government will now have the right to ban such organizations which create a social conflict. The government hopes to contain radicalism and extremism with this move and it also hopes that it will reinforce Panchashila, the five principles of governance in the country, one of which is religious diversity. Why are we talking about what's happening in Indonesia? We're talking about it because many people in India feel that the country faces a similar situation. Attacks have been reported from various parts of the country, especially against minorities, so much so that it fueled a popular social media campaign called the Not In My Name campaign. In fact, even the Prime Minister made a statement asking people to refrain from violence. But the question is, is all of this enough? Many have in fact asked for a tough new law, perhaps similar in spirit if not in letter to what has taken place in the Indonesian parliament to ensure that people do not tear India's secular fabric. So what does the Indian parliament say about this? While it offers rupees 5 lakh as compensation to civilians who are affected by communal strife, it says that the matter is actually dealt by states and not by the center. So is there anything that India needs to learn and imbibe from Indonesia? Well, the government does have a policy called the Look East, which is now called the Act East. But will it is the key question.